an aircraft I'm not too fond of. The Boeing B-47 Stratojet. The futuristic looking B-47 Stratojet bomber formed the core of the United States nuclear bomber force in the 1950s. It proved to be a revolutionary aircraft in both design and performance. After all, it does look like a bullet. When Boeing set out to create a jet-powered multi-engine bomber for the US Army Air Force in 1944, the designers thought in terms of a straight-winged aeroplane such as the B-29 Superfortress. After the defeat of the Nazis in May 1945, however, they were able to examine German wartime research on jet aircraft and realised that a swept wing would be far more efficient at high subsonic speed. A radical rethink produced the B-47 with a 35 degree swept wing mounted on the high fuselage and six jet engines housed in pods on underwing pylons. The bomber initially also had 18 rockets in the fuselage for assisted takeoff to blast it into the air when fully laden with the bombs and fuel. A drag parachute deployed to slow the aircraft on landing. The B-47 was astonishingly fast and it was confidently expected to survive on missions with minimal armament due to its exceptional speed and altitude, however it was not entirely satisfactory. Since it lacks the intercontinental range to carry out a strike on the Soviet Union directly from bases in the United States, this problem was eventually solved by the introduction of in-flight refueling. <laughs> Specifications Power plant 6 £6,000 thrust General Electric J47 GE25 turbojet engines B47E wingspan 116 feet length 107 feet gross weight 200,000 pounds maximum speed more than 600 miles per hour combat radius 2013 miles First flight, December the 17th, 1947, XB-47 prototype and armament, two 20mm Hispano cannons and four 303 inch Browning machine guns. And I believe the crew was three. Plus, of course, they used it for electronic warfare as well. So you had about four or five technicians on board. But we're going to do that in an updated video. Sadly, no country by country for this video because only one Air Force used it, which was, of course, the United States Air Force. So the aircraft's first flight was the 17th of December 1947, introduced in 1951 in June of that year, retired 1969, the model B-47E, and the EB-47 E, that would have been the electric warfare aircraft, was retired in 1977. There was also a few flying test beds operated until 1977. And so the very last flight was in 1984, which was a ferry flight. And it was the restored 520166 was ferried from the Naval Air Weapon Station at China Lake to Kassung Air Force Base for display. China Lake, that is so famous. <laughs>